Hello friends, welcome to Sound Bath Sundays episode 2, week 2, just basking in some heavenly palo santo aroma, doing some little meditation while uh, honoring these sacred instruments that uh, I have just beside me. So with this sound bath, you are welcome to enjoy in any way you wish. I highly suggest treating it as a meditation, seeing if you can sit nice and tall in your seat and breathing very deeply, maybe just to start. But I do notice that um, breath is some of the most important practices that come to me when I think of empowerment and the importance of just simply breathing. Uh, I think we overlook the power of the breath, truly. And, uh, and today in the sound bath, I invite you to rediscover the, the love you have for your own breath, that beautiful sensation when you take that inhalation and you hold that inhalation and then you release. I've been teaching yoga for about four years now and uh, over the last six months I've been doing lots of one-on-one -on -one sharing and um, yeah, I really noticed that a lot of people just aren't locked into their meditation practice and they're suffering from anxiety or stress. And the first thing I tell them is that's probably the first place you should start is <laughs> starting to meditate every day and, and really tuning into that, that side of yourself, that intuition, that inner knowing, that subconscious mind. Because when we sit and we meditate, we make space in the conscious mind for our, you know, our subconscious mind to, to allow us to see the wisdom that is within us. All of the questions that we have, the answers are simply just waiting to be revealed within us if we just simply listen. But in this world, in Toronto in particular, there's a lot of running around, A to B, you know, everyone's high on coffee, and it, it definitely is a different vibration than one that I'm trying to resonate at. And uh, I do find myself, you know, feeling like I'm on a hamster wheel sometimes, and I do feel stress, and I do face anxiety, and I do feel all these things that everyone else feels. And I think that something that really... Uh, really comes to me is that, you know, we have tools and strategies. We really do. We have loads of tools and strategies and videos and there's yoga and pranayama, qigong, dancing, all these things that can bring us into that resonance. And uh, we all know this. But for whatever reason, some of us don't practice it. They just don't find the time to sit and breathe. Oh, I'm too busy to sit and breathe. It's like, well, that's kind of not true. You absolutely have the time to sit and breathe. You absolutely can take five minutes to lay down on your back, put your legs up a wall, and, and activate your parasympathetic nervous system. It's all possible, and you can do it. And it's that block. It's that, it's that I can't. And when you say I can't, it's almost like registering in your body, like, oh, he can't, so we can't. Instead of saying, I can, and I will, and it'll happen. It's simply just a matter of making that choice of yes. It really comes down to yes or no and um, you know for a while I was facing some some stress and anxiety this past uh, full moon and uh, when I really was deep in my medit when I was deep in my stress I realized that you know I hadn't I hadn't like been meditating in the last like two days it somehow just slipped my mind I was just into thing to thing to thing to thing and I was trying to make time for that small practice but it seemed to not be in my schedule so what I did was, something I did a long time ago, was that I got an app on my phone to go ding every hour. So every hour, no matter what I was doing, I would stop, put down my phone if I was on my phone, and take at least a minute to five minutes of breath. And not just breathing, but really allowing the inhalations to fill me and the exhalations to just release There's something so magical about the simplicity of breathing and being present. And once we breathe enough times, you know, in a sequence of 10 times in a row, something light happens, something shifts inside of us and we settle, we relax, we tune in. And that to me is like one of the most empowering things that any one of us can do in a day. So tonight for this sound bath, I invite you to, like I said, fall in love with your breath, fall in love with breathing in and enjoying that pause and, and exhaling and just breathing with the entire exhalation till there's nothing left. 
and then breathing in. Explore different time signatures. Maybe you want to go 444. Maybe you want to go 4816 and you want to extend the exhalations. It's all up to you. Maybe sometimes you want to breathe a little heavier and then you want to exhale and hold and be patient and release. You know, Wim Hof is, is all about breathing. He's about breathing in this, uh, this prana, filling your body, pushing your limits, activating your nervous system, and slowing it down, which we can all do. So I'd like to thank everyone who's tuning in. And uh, please, please do enjoy. If you can't stay for the full hour, uh, just I suggest just setting a little alarm on your phone and being like, you know, I have 20 minutes. I'm going to sit for 20 minutes. I'm going to settle in. And that could really help you to just drop and not worry about time because sometimes worrying about time within a meditation can take you quite deeply into your mind and not into the meditation. So let's enjoy. And uh, if anyone's interested in all the beautiful things that I'm doing in the next month, I've got lots going on until I leave for Guatemala. Um, we have uh, Rose of Jericho this uh, Valentine's Day. It's this beautiful ecstatic dance. Uh, tantric ceremony that uh, Darren and Clarity are going to be facilitating and I'll be there selling cacao and Justin Roy is going to be DJing. It's going to be beautiful. It's going to be so magical. And then on Saturday I'm doing an AccuBall workshop where I'll be taking these beautiful AccuBalls and like heating them up and we're going to be putting them all over our bodies and massaging deep places and taking lots of deep breaths and lots of sighing. Um, and then we have uh, me and Chris Dub on Monday. We're actually going to be doing a uh, two-week, two-part series uh, on the 12th and 26th Kundalini Yoga series. We're going to drink cacao, do an hour and a half of Kundalini Yoga on a certain Kriya set, and then enjoy a 30-minute sound bath, which is so beautiful because we are heading into this age of Aquarius, right? And the new moon on the 15th is the age of Aquarius, so it's the perfect time to really align yourself with a practice that was created to align you to this moving into the golden age, this Aquarian age. And uh, yeah, I feel really blessed to be working with Chris Dubb, like what a soul brother and doing magical stuff in the world. And then I think the last thing is, um, oh, on family day, I'm doing a drum circle with Raul. We're going to be doing a drum circle, all ages, kids under five, come for free. We're just going to throw it down with the family. We're going to dance and play all day and then sound bath at night. So uh, those are all the things. They're all there. You can find them. Please, please enjoy. I will stop talking soon. Uh, when you're alone and you're talking in a microphone, it's kind of challenging to see your boundaries. But I am blessed and very grateful to be sharing. This is going to be really special, really beautiful. If you can, just share it on your wall. Just let it get out there. You know, maybe other people will tune in. Maybe someone can't sleep and they need a little meditation. Maybe someone's stressed. This could really help them. That's the whole intention. Let's, let's get healing vibrations out there with these beautiful crystal seeing bowls. I'm so, uh, so blessed and uh, let's dive in. in this space, in this video, in this live feed. If you want to meditate, I invite you just to sit in a comfortable seat. Try to lengthen your spine as best as you can. And just to start off, try taking some deeper inhalations than you are taking right now, just to lengthen the spine. And then when you exhale, just try to relax your shoulders and your neck down into your body. And we're really going to try to focus on moving the diaphragm. So as you inhale, the diaphragm should expand. And as you exhale, the diaphragm falls gently inwards. A very simple but effective practice. And if you're an analytical person and need that timing, I suggest just a simple four in, four hold, four out, four hold. Four, four, four. And then begin to experiment with exhaling and 
and inhaling at different lengths of time just to experience maybe the, the effects that it would have on your body. <clears throat> Allow the sounds just to whisk you away. On a journey into your breath, into falling in love with that breath.
breathe in that fresh, beautiful air around you, that prana, that energy, that chi, breathe it in. Hold it and gently let it go. Rediscover a conscious breath in your deep belly. Breathing it from the belly into the chest, into the heart, and exhaling in the belly. Coming back gently into your body with your breath being your guide. Allowing yourself to smile in gratitude for making time for yourself tonight to reset and rejuvenate your body and your mind and your heart frequency of 432. Just gently emerging into your space if you feel called, if you wish to keep laying, keep laying, keep enjoying. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to week two of my weekly Sound Bath Sundays. I'm uh, extremely honored to be sharing this medicine with you guys. Uh, meditation is such a huge part of my healing journey that I've been on, mindfulness, and it's so grateful to be able to share it with, uh, with others and be received in that, and I hope you guys can take a meditation practice into your daily life, a mindfulness practice into your daily life through using the breath. It's as simple as that. Breathe while you're doing things. Be conscious of your breath. When you're eating, be conscious when you're driving, when you're walking. Allow the breath to continue to pull you back into that beautiful and holy present moment of being. Being accepting of the way that life is. Being optimistic. Living in love, not in fear. And allowing the breath to guide you on that journey in your life. Tonight was very special. And I am so grateful as I've said many times but that's just what, what, what wants to come through so grateful to, to be sharing this to be you know my life is basically creating healing events and trying to bring people together and creating culture and creating community and uh, it feels so so incredible please tune in to any of the events that are happening in the next month they're all fantastic they're all inspiring whatever your thing is if you want to lay down and relax that's there if you want to do kundalini yoga if you want to drum if you want to massage yourself, there's all these opportunities that I've created over the last month um, for this month to, to share healing with whoever is open to receiving it. So again, please be so blessed that divine light and teacher and dark and me sees and honors the divine light and teacher and dark in you. Namaste, my friend. anyone has any questions or wants to reach out in any way or wants to book a private healing session in my little temple set you up in a restorative posture and let you just completely chill and relax and breathe deeply and work on whatever intention you need so I'm here you're there we're all one love you guys <laughs>